You know, Charles, I think the ministry of Haven is probably the most historic Christian radio program that's still on the air. It is. It's the oldest, continuous, daily radio program. And of all places, starting out in Hollywood, California, yeah, right. 90 years ago this year. Yeah, no kidding. That's Christian radio before Christian radio was Christian radio. And who could think Hollywood would produce a Christian radio program that would last this long? Well, I think it was Hollywood that produced the crisis that drove him to his knees and ultimately drove him towards Jesus. Ahoy there, shipmate. Eight bells and all's well. That was first mate Bob, but back then it was Paul Myers before he got in the air. Well, and it's so interesting because Paul was this radio personality. There wasn't any TV. There was the Great Depression going on. That's you right. know, the Second World War had yet to break out. Charles, at that time, I can't help but think how similar this moment that we're in 90 years later is to that one. And the answer then is the answer now. Certainly. First mate Bob said, I've anchored my soul in the haven of rest, but he wasn't talking about a harbor like the one that we're standing in front of. He was talking about Jesus. Mm. I've anchored my soul in the haven of rest. There was that old hymn that was being sung in churches at that time. And that, I assume, and living where he did is where he came up with the idea of a nautical theme. All of that is very significant and still works, still applies to us Oh, today. absolutely. The, the wild seas, the storms, the wind, the waves, that very much captures, the, I think, the, the, the kind of chaos and great need that we all feel just in the course of our own lives and the things that, that we face and the world that we're living in, too. But then and now, our greatest need is for, for the the, the, the winds of God's Spirit to blow us into the harbor of His grace. And of course, the picture is the Lord Jesus Christ, who alone can really anchor us and give us peace. And I think, Charles, that's a message that our world needs today just as much as it did 90 years ago when Haven was founded. It's the end of our fiscal year. That's right. And yet we're in our 90th year. Mm -hmm. What are these needs that we're facing right now and yeah. we're asking people that are watching us today to help us out with, yeah. help us keep sharing Jesus? Yeah, yeah. well, the, the need is significant. The number is $952,000 that Haven needs to raise before June 30th. So today, for you watching, your prayers are appreciated, your giving is appreciated, and maybe Haven has really meant something to you and you've never been in a position to give, but now you are. If this ministry of Haven has impacted your life over the years, would you consider prayerfully giving a gift today? And give as you're able. For some, maybe this is a moment when the Lord has given you the ability to make an enormous gift or what feels like for you a large gift. Or maybe He's just given you a little bit that you can share. To us, that's not the important thing. What matters is that you give as the Lord leads, and we trust Him. He's the captain of this ministry. He's the captain of this ship and of our lives. We're trusting Him. So would you help us and become part of sharing the great story? It's still and always will be all about Jesus.